All right, quick note before you all begin watching this bad attempt at reviewing art supplies. I am so sorry. The audio in this video is... bad. Even though it was connected to my Blue Snowball microphone, which is the uh, microphone I'm currently using, by the way, it, the video was just a giant test. Not only for these markers, but on this newly produced Logitech capture thing, because that's the material I use anyways, which I'm not going to be using this anymore in any future videos. Want to know why? Because I like you guys and I want you to enjoy my work. The audio isn't that bad, but there's a notice in quality. Anyways, this is the review. I, I still hope you enjoy it. Please don't leave. New year, new celebration. And now that I'm back from my vacation, we are going to be looking at these knockoff uh, markers that my mom bought, thinking that one, it would be just the case, and two, well, you know, there wouldn't be any markers in it. Boy, was she wrong. Okay, so the, the main reason why we got these markers out on display and whatnot, I, I know I just opened it up, I need to test the quality because I've never uh, done this kind of thing before, not that that matters, and um, touch cool twin markers. I actually ended up uh, looking these up on Amazon and whatnot. My mom actually got these on Wish, I don't know how much she paid for them. But, uh, I don't know. I've, I've kind of always wanted to do one of these videos, so. Touch Cool Markers. It, it comes with, like, the bullet nib. As you can see in pastel violet. Ooh, how fancy. I actually like, you know, the names on these. But I have no idea what to expect. Um, I, I looked them up on Amazon. These should be good markers, because they were like 50 bucks, but I, I once again, I have absolutely no idea how much my mother paid for these on Wish. I, I told her apparently, like, you know, I just wanted Copic markers, because, you know, I, I love me my Copics. <laughs> and, um, th this actually came in a good variety, at least it came with the case to, you know, carry in, like, you know. Um... And it also came with, uh, this. It, it came with a swatching paper for, I, I don't even, I can't read. <laughs> but, it might correspond to however order that they've got in here. There, there is an exact, um, you know, number system like Copics do, I, I don't think. So, let's just dump these all out and make a swatch out of them. Okay, so originally during this video I was recording my swatching, but unfortunately the software of Logitech Chapter was giving me trouble. The videos would play fine on their own accord, but once I tried to import them into my video making program, all of the videos, except the first one, just turned into audio files for some reason. So I went through all of the videos just to see which ones I had to cut, and then I had to upload them to YouTube in an unlisted setting, and then I had to download the same videos again. So in other words, I am sorry, but the swatching pots were cut to save time. Now back to your regularly scheduled video. Okay guys, I am back from swatching. This took way longer than it needed to. But, um, well, uh, these are the colors that came in the 80 set. Oh boy, um, <laughs> I, I did have some complaints that I'll probably have a compilation of after, uh, this part of the video, but, um, you know, these are all the colors, but overall, they're, they're very vivid, but my one main problem is that some of them are just completely misleading when it comes to, like, you know, their their color. Like, this is a Copic marker. This is... You, you see what you get. But with these, it, it kind of varies, like, it's off in some aspects, or worse, like, um... 
Like, barely beige. Hello, Sam. My dog broke in on me. <laughs> like, like in barely beige. When, when you look at the uh, Copic version of this, it's more of a, uh, you know, an earth tone. There, there are very few earth tones. Like, the only earth tone I can think of right at the top of my head is salmon pink. Like, this is like the only skin tone I've seen throughout this entire uh, set of 80 markers. Which are, like I said, uh, or I will say, uh, 61 cents a marker compared to like $48 and something cents. Anyways, um, you know, some of them just don't match. Like, and, and the weirdest color I kind of found was, uh, 75. And, and they call it, um, Oh, here's the marker. I'm, I'm not kidding you. It's dark blue light. I, I kind of get it, but it's like, you know, why why would you call something dark blue just, just to admit, oh, it's a light dark blue. How does that work? It just doesn't. And, it's, you know, you could have just called it purple. I mean, you know. <laughs> You know, some of these names are actually very, very nice. Like, I like wine red and pastel pink, terracotta, you know, things like that. Azalea purple. They're nice. They're pretty. They're elegant. But, but then you got something like dark blue light. And that just kind of ruins it. Just... <laughs> I don't know. It, it kind of made me chuckle a little bit just because, you know, why... Why go through the effort to call it dark blue light? It, it doesn't work. Anyways, we're going to try and take these markers and try to draw something with them. Because I, I do like the colors. My, my only real complaint is more of the... <laughs> Ow. <laughs> like, look at this. Th this doesn't work. This doesn't work. <laughs> I, I found a few that actually matched this, but it, it doesn't work. Anyways, let's try to draw something with these. I'll have a sketch ready and everything. This is the part of the video where I had the most fun. At first I got really stuck on what I wanted to do for the drawing. Maybe I could have drawn a cute girl in winter just because, hey, it's winter and, well, <laughs> these markers are cool. I know, I bad joke. You'll you'll get that a lot with me, anyways. <laughs> but I wanted to do something I normally don't do, so I decided to draw this like modern girl with sort of a fifties greaser aesthetic, with the bubble gum and the jacket. I don't know. I've always kind of liked that look. I I thought that was kind of the original cool. Plus, a bit of her head is shaved, but I've been seeing that look everywhere lately. I don't know why. And while I personally wouldn't risk it myself, I think it's a good look on a lot of other girls who, you know, do it right. I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, you either got it or you don't. And I don't. <laughs> Anyways, markers. We're talking about markers, Christy. Anyways. I, I've been kind of ADD when it came to describing them, and what I've concluded is, well, I actually noticed design-wise, one positive, they don't roll away easily, but you can tell that the production value wasn't put through enough quality control. Because most of the broad tips I found were placed in randomly, I, I never talked about it, but some of the bullet nibs had also this range from being super soft and juicy to hard and scratchy. I, I did like the barrel though. It's a barrel that won't roll off the table and you know what? That's nice. I like that. You you may have noticed also that like part of the lighting has kind of changed and that was due to, well, I, I kind of hated having to adjust a lamp and trying to make sure that none of the shadows show through in my hands and whatnot so I just put them through my overhead light. Like, you know, it. It kind of shines above, there's hardly any shadows, except in certain cases, but it kind of worked out in my favor. Like, I can even, like, record at night if I wanted to, like, to, uh, do all that. So, anyways, I'm kind of proud of this drawing. I mean, I wish... One thing I really need to learn when it comes to, uh, traditional art, I need to make my heads less big. Like, I make my heads way too big when I draw. 
like traditionally mostly because I notice these type of things um, when it's too late like when I'm drawing digital I can easily just adjust the size and keep the same shape you can't do that with traditional it's basically you're in or you're not you're you're all in or yeah anyways but I don't know, I, I need to get better at that in the future, just like I'm hoping to get better at, you know, doing YouTube videos again. I mean, it has been a long time. Anyways, uh, I guess I'll let you guys watch the rest of the speed paint, or I don't even know, I, I'm not keeping track of the recording while I, uh, record my audio, so, hey, maybe I'll just jump over to the next thing. Anyways. This drawing of this really really cool girl I, I have to say what do I think of these markers no I mean they, they got some good colors you definitely have to swatch them though b before you do it because some of these colors like for example uh, um, what's it brown gray it comes out like this uh, strange I don't even know how to describe it color um, let, let's see if I have it. I, I don't on me. Oh well, I guess I put it away. Oh no, no, there it is. Um, for example, like, it comes out kind of a green color, but, like, you know, when, when you first put it down, look, it looks completely different compared to the, uh, final swatch, like, right here. Because it hasn't dried yet. <laughs> it, it's just kind of how it is? Well, I don't know, maybe in this lighting it looks... But either way, it's more of a greenish color. It probably doesn't come out well on, uh, well, kind of looks good on the camera, though. Um, you definitely swatch these, though, because it might look different in, like, different lighting. I don't know. I use daylight light bulbs. Um, <laughs> but as for a, um, as for a marker as a Copic alternative, like, if you're just getting these for, like, someone who just wants to try out some good markers, wants a twin tip, um, if they've got, like, the patience to, like, you know, like, break out, out of these tough, uh, cased markers, then, you know what, go for it. I mean, if, if you can't afford Copic, then, you know what, I say these are pretty good. 
like, you know, they're not, they're not terrible. I mean, the colors aren't bad. It just, it kind of bleeds easily. So you may want to put down like something to uh, like, you know, kind of cover up and protect your pages because like, look at this. <laughs> you can see like right through the colors and whatnot. And this right here, like, especially when you're trying to blend, I didn't blend for uh, this tutorial only for the sake of my sanity. That and I, I like to blend with the brush tip. Brush tip. So I, I know that Copics uh, work pretty, pretty good, like when it comes to uh, layering. Like, you know, you can hardly see that color on this one, but in reality. <laughs> Or, or even, um, like, you know, you, you just gotta be careful, I mean, <laughs> with, with, uh, these markers. Only when it comes to bl blending them with, like, the, uh, chisel nib. I if you're not into, like, the, uh, bullet nib, come on. I if you're not into the bullet nib, then, alright, try find a good brush marker alternative, but you know what? These have really good colors, and I don't know, I'd give them a 3 out of 5. Like, they're not great, but they're not terrible either. Maybe a 2.5 out of 5. Half. Like, you know, they're good as a starting marker, I think. I wouldn't ne I wouldn't necessarily uh, recommend them over Copics. Like, unless you can, you know, unless you can't afford it, then you know what? I say go find yourselves these touch cool markers because they are lit. Haha, <laughs> bad joke. Okay, I'll stop. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like and subscribe this video. And, you know, all my media is in the links in the description below. I hope you have a good one. And see you guys later. Bye-bye.